Now that you have your own cluster running, locally using Minikube, or on AWS using COPS, now I can show you how building containers works so you can run your own containers on Kubernetes. So this lecture will be about building your own app in Docker. To build containers, you can use Docker Engine. You can download Docker Engine for Windows, Mac, and Linux. There are three different URLs. There are also different ways to set up Docker on your host system. All the installations are pretty easy. You just download the software, you install it, and you can use Docker. You can use that, or you can use my Vagrant DevOps box, which comes with Docker installed. On my GitHub, I have a DevOps box, which is a Vagrant box, which you can use, which will automatically install Docker for you. In the demos, I will always use an Ubuntu Xenial box set up with Vagrant. I showed you how to do this in the AWS preparation demos. If you haven't followed those, but you would like to run an Ubuntu Xenial box, then have a look at those demos. The DevOps box is also Ubuntu Xenial, and you can find the URL for this DevOps box in the procedure document. So whether you use a plain Ubuntu or a DevOps box, it's almost the same. Also, you don't have to use Vagrant. Docker is available for Windows, Mac, and for Linux. So you can use it with whatever operating system you want. Let's talk about Dockerizing a simple app. I'm going to show you how to Dockerize a Node.js app, but you can Dockerize any application you want. So Dockerizing a simple Node.js app only needs a few files. You need a Docker file. Every container you want to build needs a Docker file. Let's just go over the few lines that are in this Docker file. First line, from node 4.6, we are saying our image is going to be based on the node image. This node image is publicly available. Docker will download version 4.6 from this official node image. Our work directory is going to be slash app. In this Linux environment that comes from node, we are going to create the directory slash app. And the current files in this current directory are going to be copied to slash app. I will show you the other files in just a moment. They're just going to be the JavaScript files for this Node.js app that are going to be copied to this slash app directory. To prepare this Docker image, we're going to execute some commands. You can do that using the run command. So this is going to run npm install. NPM install is a command that will install all the dependencies so that we bundle the dependencies together with this node image. So we will have the node image with the Linux operating system and all the dependencies. And then we're going to add all the dependencies that this app needs. It's going to expose a port, in this case, port 3000. And when this container itself starts, then it's going to run NPM start. Let's have a look at the other files in this directory that will then be copied to this slash app folder. The first one is index.js. Very simple Node.js app, only a few lines. It's going to load some of the dependencies that it needs to start a server. And then when it gets a hit on slash, the main page is just going to say hello world. This app is going to listen on port 3000. And when it starts, it's going to print to the console. The example app is listening at host and port. Then a Node.js app typically has a package.json file. And in this package.json file, we're going to define the dependencies. It's basically the metadata of this app. So our app has the name my app. It has a version. You can choose whatever version you want. It's a private app. We're not going to put it into a public repository. It has scripts. This is just going to define what happens if you do npm start. So if you take a look at the Docker file, we see npm start. Well, then node index.js will be executed. It depends on the engine, node 4.6.1, and it has one dependency. The dependency is express. So when we do npm install, then it's going to install express in the slash app directory. So we have a slash app directory with index.js, packet.json, and npm install is going to run when we're going to build this Docker container is going to install the dependencies in slash app. You will see this working 
when I do this in a shell, you just need to understand what these three files mean. The flow itself of building the image, you will clearly see when we're going to run the docker build command. So to build this project, docker build can be used. Docker build can be executed manually or you can use CI, CD software like Jenkins to listen for any changes to your project and then automatically execute a build. We are going to do it manually for now. Later on, you can automate this easily. To build the Docker image from the previous line, this is what we're going to do. We're going to CD to the Docker demo. This Docker demo is also a Git repository on my GitHub. So you can clone this Git repository or you can download this as a zip file. Again, procedure document. You will see the URL as well in the next demo. Here you have then a Docker file, index.js and a package.json. If you want to build then this image using the definition in this Docker file, you enter Docker build and that is going to start the build process. After the Docker build process, you have built an image that can run the Node.js app. And that build process that I just explained, that's what I'm going to show you in the next demo.